bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. Hey guys, welcome back to Living Friends. It's one of those beautiful Sunday mid mornings and the day looks so fresh and bright. The sun seems to be in full energy. It really shines so bright today. And this sunny day certainly calls for a lunch menu that's loaded with the aroma of spices and the saucy gravy. And so I made this tasty spicy rich mutton gravy that just made my lunch on this bright sunny day so satisfying. Actually, cooking is a kind of stress buster for me. I love cooking and spend most of my time in the so-called paradise of my house, the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. It's where I start and end my day every day. And guys, please let me know in the comment section if you like this content. Would love to hear from you. Okay, now let's get cooking. Take a pressure pan or cooker on the stove top and add about three tablespoons of oil. And when the oil heats up. Add the following spices and saute for a few seconds. Three cloves, three cinnamon sticks, three bay leaves. Add two large onions, finely chopped, and saute until translucent. Now add 1 heap teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and saute until aromatic or the raw smell is eradicated. Don't speed up this process, take time and fry nicely. Now add salt per taste, half a teaspoon turmeric powder. 3 teaspoon spice powder three fourth teaspoon each of Kashmiri chilli powder and coriander powder Kashmiri chilli powder gives a rich color and flavor to the dish Saute all the ingredients mixing the spices well Now add 1 kg mutton chopped into small pieces and mix all the contents making sure the mutton is nicely coated with the spice mixture. Now close the pan with a lid and cook for 5 minutes on medium flame. After 5 minutes, open the lid. You will see the water oozing out from the gravy. So mix the contents now and add 2 cups of water or as per the required consistency. Now close the pan with the lid and pressure cook for 5 whistles. 
meanwhile let's make the tomato coconut paste for which i have taken two medium sized tomatoes and a piece of coconut grind this to a smooth paste and keep it aside now after five whizzes and the pressure is completely released open the lid carefully and give a quick stir at this stage add the coconut tomato paste and mix all the contents of the pan cook on medium flame for 5 minutes or until it bubble boils the gravy thickens and it's time to garnish with fresh coriander leaves and leave it to rest for 5 minutes before serving guys i really hope you like this content and if yes please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing It means a lot to me and also motivates me to bring you more interesting content also share it with your friends and family until i see you in my next video it's babita signing off It's one life live it up